Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. The state of Kentucky has been through a lot, just like the entire nation, over the last few weeks and months. To talk about some of it, we'd like to welcome in State Representative Jason Nemus. Thank you so much for being with us and being on the show. I appreciate you having me at this, to talk about this really important issue. Um, so I'm glad to be here. First of all, let's talk about what's been going on in Louisville. And it's definitely, a, you know, a, it's reached a boiling point across the United States. But Louisville specifically, there is a case in Breonna Taylor who people are marching for and saying her name. You have recently talked about no-knock warrants, which is kind of how that all got started and how we might fix that. Yeah, so no-knock warrants are an opportunity to go into someone's house without having to knock and announce yourself. They present increased uh, danger to both the citizen and to the officer. And in this case, there uh, appears to have been tremendous mistakes made, uh, shots fired from both sides. And of course, that you know, inside it looked like they were trying to protect their home. They didn't. They allegedly did, didn't know that they were police officers. And then the officers returned fire, and a and a lady uh, named Brianna Taylor was shot and killed. Um, it's a heartbreaking story. Um, but you know, the unrest in Louisville certainly is about Brianna Taylor. Um, but that's the particular. This is much much larger than any particular. It's much larger than Mr. Floyd and Brianna Taylor and a lot of other folks. This is I call it our nation's original sin. You know, we were conceived in, in with slavery as, as one of our major components of our country. We've had a civil war where millions died uh, in, in a just cause to end slavery, but we've not overcome the badges of slavery is what is what the United States Supreme Court calls it. Um, and we have a long way to go. We've come a long way, but this is 2020 and we need to be much further along than we are today. What are some solutions that we can talk about making a real change occur in society? I know, I know that's such a tough, broad question, but yeah. there's got to be little things that we can do to get better. There are, and there are things that are predicates, right? We, we can't get to where we need to be until we build trust. We don't trust one another. We don't trust our institutions. Our government, our governor, our mayors need to be better. And I'm not talking about this particular governor. I'm talking about governors broadly need to be better in letting our citizens know exactly what the rules are, what, 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 what's going on. If there's a police investigation, for example, here's why it takes so long. Here's the steps that need to be taken. And then when it's done, everything needs to be out in the open. And so citizens can trust. And once you have that trust in the institutions and in the investigations, then police officers can trust it and understand, look, I'm not going to be railroaded here. I'm going to get a fair hearing. They must trust that. What the citizens must trust that there's a fair hearing and at the end of the hearing if there's misconduct then there's going to be accountability that's in the police world this is so much larger than policing this is about economic opportunity at its base this is about fairness at its base and we like to say look i'm not racist i'm not involved in that and to large part that's true i like to think i'm not but there are some institutional um, setbacks or or restrictions that are in place today and or and or that have been placed in place recently that we have to recognize have a have a long term and a present context and, and consequence. A perfect example of that is redlining. Redlining was the was the simple thing that African Americans could only live in certain areas, or better said, they couldn't live in, in certain areas. And that has a consequence for wealth generation. And when you don't have wealth, you don't have the opportunity to pass on wealth and, and to and to have economic opportunity. And that hurts our families. We know that. We know that in our white community, our black community, our Hispanic community, but our African American community has a harder time enjoying the economic opportunities that you and I have. But we've got to recognize that. And so the first step is to say, look, this isn't comfortable. I'm a white guy, 42 years old. It's not comfortable for me to have this conversation, but we have to have it. We have to have it in love. We have to have it in truth. But we, we got to look at each other and say, this is what I think, but, but how do you feel? What do you think? And then we've got to you know, compromise and reach understanding. It's not easy, but it has to be done. And all of this, by the way, with the backdrop of COVID-19, record high unemployment, you know, nearly 40% of Kentuckians unemployed. Will this be perhaps the most important election uh, of our lifetimes? I don't know if it's the most important election, but it's certainly a very important election. For the people I represent, um, there's never been more engagement than there is now. It's because people won a lot of people are, are at home. Um, a lot of people are more affected by government policy or for whatever the reason it is. I know there are, that's two of the reasons. People are more engaged and I like that. 
I hope we go from a 60% turnout in presidential races in Kentucky to 90, 100, whatever. Um, I, I hope that happens. So it's a very important election. We're in a bad spot economically. We've got this virus that's, that is uh, pulling the scab off of so many, so many of our societal, society's ills. And uh, then you throw these, um, these riots. I'm not talking about the protests. The protests are something to be, that's the sound of democracy. To me, that's beautiful. Um, but the riots and the looting, those things aren't helping anything at all. Representative Jason Nemus, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your insight. Thanks for having me. All right, more Hey Kentucky after this.